cheer up and put on a happy face, um, I think that'll do. So at this time, just sit back and get comfortable. Hopefully something that I, that I bring to you will uh, leave some type of positive uh, feeling or impression with you. And what I'd like to talk about right now is what's happening in this particular season that we are experiencing right now here on the earth plane. Basically, that's what I'm talking about, seasons of the earth. But first, why do we feel that we have to attempt to control everything? Why is it that man always has to have the upper hand? Who are we to try to fix or better the workings of Mother Nature? Life goes, and so do the seasons, whether we have a hand in it or not. The seasons change. Why not let nature take its course? Natural law, as it should be. We follow the patterns of the sun and the moon, the seasons of our lives as well. Which season of your life are you in right now? Do you go with the flow or do you swim upstream? like a salmon? Do you try to change the mysteries of the earth or do you embrace them? Do you like to feel you have a hand in all of this around you? Do you really believe that you have a hand in all of this around you? As a spiritualist, I have learned through the teachings of our pioneers that I'm here to learn valuable life lessons. I believe that things flow a lot smoother when I don't try to swim against the current. I have learned, sometimes the hard way, to adapt to change, to even embrace it. For in some way, I believe all change is good. All change has come about from infinite intelligence or our one God or creator. I learned to embrace the change. It might not appear at the time to be what I think is best for me or those around me. But change it is. And change will happen whether I create it or it is created for me. Just like the seasons. Not everyone looks forward to the changes that come about on the earth plane. We live in Florida because most of us don't embrace cold weather. <laughs> Snow, ice, sleep. We moved here probably for that reason. If not, you're always free to go back up north and experience all that again and leave the rest of us to the warm, sunny, tropical breezes. But who likes autumn, the fall? Most of us here do, even though it's not like it is up north. So majestic and dramatic, the brilliant reds, yellows, and oranges as the leaves change and drop in coverings all over the ground. And the smells, right? Do you remember what the smell of autumn leaves smells like? If not, I'm sure there's a Yankee candle for it. <laughs> but the promise of cooler weather to come. Just right. Not too warm. Not too cold. We can still go to the beach. 
but we can still cool off a little bit at night. And then there's spring. Who doesn't love spring? The promise of things to come, new beginnings, budding, flowers, grass sprouts emerging from the chilly or frosty dew across the land. Did you notice I skipped winter? <laughs> I don't really have any use for it. <laughs> but I guess it serves its purpose too. Snows melt and fill the aquifers, rivers, and streams. Life slows down. Hibernation takes place. But let's back up to fall or autumn. Most of you that I've talked to have decided that fall is the best for various reasons. Besides the cooler temperatures that we in Florida look forward to after our scorching, sweltering, steamy summer months, fall is the harvest. Fall is abundance. The farmers gathered their crops. All their backbreaking work comes to fruition. In old times, it was a time of neighbors gathering together, working together to help each other. It was all for the greater good. If you helped them, they in turn helped you. It was a time of good neighborly fellowship, hard work, but with so much reward. Things were canned, stored away for the cold winter months to come. Autumn blessings were shared among all. Who could do it all without their neighbors? Not too many. So how does that equate to us now? Most of us don't have fields of crops ready to be harvested. We have supermarkets and food drops to share among our neighbors now. People tend to be more isolated away from their neighbors. But fall abundance is still to be had. Why? Because this is the time of the year when we start looking back at the previous months of this soon to close out year. And what a year it's been. Fall, autumn. What are we going to harvest this year? Is it all the animosity and hate and ugliness? that was sown as seeds throughout the year? Is it the political rivalries that highlighted our differences and opinions? Was it the division of black, white, brown, generated by a few wanting to poke the hornet's nest for their own gain or purpose? Riots, looting, is this to be our harvest this year? Fall, autumn harvest of abundance, but good or bad, which will you choose? The pandemic was inflicted upon us due to the actions of some. How did we as Americans respond to this attack upon our health and well-being? Some argued some disagreed about how to approach the necessary guidelines. Some stuck their heads in the sand and possibly contracted the disease. And then there's election 2020. What did we harvest from that? Well, you reap what you sow, right? Did you sow seeds of division, animosity, hate and anger towards others that disagreed with your opinions? I hope not. So as spiritualists, we know that what we put out to the universe comes back to us, and then some. We know thoughts 
are things. They are very powerful. And when they are expressed through our words and actions, they can possibly have a very devastating effect. We're taught to be careful what we put out there because it truly will come back to you. So let's look at this fall autumn thing again, shall we? What seeds did you sow in the spring that we're harvesting now? Did you learn that we are all united in this situation together? We are all living in this country, in this time, together? Did you learn that we truly are brothers and sisters, regardless of our skin tones or ethnicities or cultures? I wish to fill my cornucopia, you know one of those big things, the Thanksgiving basket that's full of abundance of all the wonderful things of fall. I want to fill mine with a loving harvest of compassion and empathy for all my brothers and sisters. I want an abundance of acceptance regardless of my or your beliefs. Can I just accept you for who you are? Not necessarily what you believe or even how you believe, especially if it's different from the way I think or believe. Can't I just love you and want the best for you because I know we walk the path toward the one true creator or infinite intelligence or whatever you call this energy source, God, Jehovah, Allah, I want to walk alongside you as I help you to harvest all the good works that you've sown along this year. All the kindness and compassion and sharing of all that the Creator provided for all of us here. There is no need for greed and envy. There truly is enough for all of us. The law of abundance comes into play. Abundance of all that is good. So happy fall harvest time to you, my brothers and sisters. This beautiful season of gathering of all that is good all the good seeds that I trust that you have sown along this year. And that comes with a harvest of plenty of love to share and go around. And those are the blessings that Spirit passes to you today. Thank you for listening to that. At this time, I would like to ask uh, 